Good morning world. This is Lynn from Lynn Farmstead. This is my Wambugu Apples farm in Migori County, Kenya, Africa, where we are living proof that <laughs> apple farming in Kenya is possible. The apples are feeling quite good this morning despite the wind. It's quite windy. I'm looking at those trees swaying and I'm like, are they acting as my windbreakers or what? Because I can't feel that type of wind here. <laughs> or is it that wind is stronger up there than down here where we are? Either way, I'm grateful because we don't want these beautiful flowers to start falling off. But the wind is also a good pollinator somehow, so it's a 50-50 affair. So today we want to look at, at and understand the flowering season of Wambugu apples. I'm convinced, but you can prove me otherwise, that in Kenya the flowering season is actually happening now. Because I've seen most people say that they also have flowers in their gardens. I know that uh, these flowers might go throughout the year, but it feels like this is like the maximum, the, the major season for flowering. But you can prove me wrong. Of course, I'm here to learn also. So for beginners like me who are ever anxious about whether their trees are ready to flower or not. I thought of sharing my experience with you about understanding the flowering season, starting with the anatomy of the apple flowers and understanding what we call spurs, which are these ones right here. Because these are the ones that you look out for when you want to know if your tree is ready to fruit or not because what happened is I bent all these trees and most of them are giving me flowers as you can see but we also have some like these that decided to give me new branches new leaves so that means there's a way that you can differentiate between a spur that's about to give you fruit and one that's about to give you this kind of growth, new growth, which I don't feel I need because this is going to be a lot. Okay, I know we love bushy, but this is going to be a lot of new branches, which could also mean that I'm going to have to prune a lot. So if I understood earlier what to look out for, then maybe I will know that this plant is not ready for flowering and I shouldn't have bent it like the others. Because you see, the one that's not bent has no growth, new growth, new shoots. But the ones that are bent have a lot of new shoots, which I don't know what to do about. So I've come to realize that when you have buds like these ones right here that are not exactly protruding and then they start by giving this let me turn the camera see this is right here trying to focus but it's kind of pointed it's sharp and pointed the new the new growth and that's how you know that it's going to be a leaf. Now this is quite different from one that's going to give you a bud which is rounded and fatter. <laughs> this one is thin and lying flat. Look at this. They're all lying flat. See? The spurs right here. All lying flat. And these are not likely to give me any fruit or flowers which will turn into fruit. Rather, I'm about to experience lots and lots of new growth from this tree. Already that's evident because we have no fl flower on the entire tree, which I do not understand honestly because this tree is quite mature. 
it's well grown it was grown at the same time as these ones it's even doing much better than this one but all the spurs gave me new shoots instead of new buds now this other one when bent decided to give us lots of new flower shoot flower buds which are already giving us flowers Ooh, it's so windy and some of them are even starting to give us new babies and this by the way nowadays whenever i close my eyes this is what i see <laughs> in my mind's eye i'm visualizing lots of this happening around here it's already started to happen see now my anxiety about flowering is over because honestly I'll, I'll be doing myself an injustice if i'm still worried about flowers because we already have lots and lots of flowers and if all these flowers were to turn into fruit this is already massive productivity but now i'm more concerned about how we're going to get this this level so the kind of spurs that are going to give you fruits look like this one fruit buds rather it's rounded and it's also more puffy it's protruding more these ones these are likely to give you flower buds maybe not this time but at some point they're going to give you flower buds they're more protruded so they have various stages starting with this which is kind of dormant and if activated or you break the dormancy then this is going to happen so it comes out as a flower bloom with its own leaves they're called extending leaves that are going to help the flower to hold up the flower and feed it and protect it so it gets from this point to this point where now it's more unlike the one that's going to give you just leaves it's more protruded and you can see that there's some kind of division happening there so if you see this know that you're about to start having flowers in your garden that then turns into this it's not focusing well yeah this which is kind of now opening up and usually it has it opens up to about four to six flowers from that single cluster this is then the result you get see like these ones are five one two three four five and the middle one is called the king bloom or is it the king flower and it's usually the first one to open up the first one to get pollinated if all factors are held constant and the one that's likely to give you the best quality and best size fruit if all goes well because it's like uh, more dominant and then it has all these other ones on the side which are going to come in in case it's not pollinated still you get to have these other flowers and in my case i've come to realize that the king bloomers almost always don't get pollinated <laughs> i don't understand why and then again i was thinking now i have all these fruits coming up but of course depending on your pollination rate you're going to have one to two or none and if you're lucky all of them might get pollinated so in this case i'll have if all of them open up and they're pollinated i'll have five from this single fruit of uh, rather bloom so this will be five and this is another five and this is another five that's already 15 and still counting 
but that's not the reality that's the ideal if all factors are held constant but i've come to realize that in farming you cannot hold all factors constant because you are not good <laughs> all you can do is hope for the best but again it's like nature also thins uh, plays a part by thinning the, the uh, fruits to something that the tree can manage so instead of giving us all these fruits that you are going to come in and start thinning again they thin themselves earlier on so when that fully opens up we get something like this where we have all our five yes even this has five flowers now fully opened up now this is going to be our fruit cluster consisting of five of them so they were at this point this stage is called the ballooning stage when it's just about to open up and then we have this that's now fully opened up with the petals visible after some time i guess like three days or something you're going to have now the petals start falling which is the case here the petals have, have already fallen off by themselves they're down there because it's a natural process but now my problem is I, I don't understand if this is pollinated or not because we have a lot of that happening here the petals have fallen and this is the time when you start panicking and feeling like oh did we just lose everything <laughs> because after this you are pollinated ones will give you fruit sets while the ones that were not pollinated will fall off but I, I was watching another clip where they said you can just flip them by your hand and if they come off then they were not pollinated so hopefully these ones still stand a chance because the rest will start falling off like these ones and you lose a season <laughs> or they can start giving you forming some flower uh, fruits like this one i have come to realize in my experience i don't know whether this is true for everyone that when you see this stalk fully green then you have you can still have hopes and then there's a way that the fruit starts to form down here which also gives you hope but if it's too flat then so help you god <laughs> so like that these these have just fallen and we have some signs but not yet there because sometimes they start forming fruit and then when you come the next day they are yellow and falling off like these ones have given us some type of fruit because they're starting to close up but this one like you can see what i mean this little one here is yellow so this is going to fall off after some time by itself but this one still stand a chance so you cannot say that you already have 15 fruits in a, a single branch unless the whole process is done and there are others that close up without the petals fully falling off see like these ones have started to close up without the petals fully falling off and this is what i love most because they're more they look more definite <laughs> than the ones that uh, drop all the petals before they start forming fruit like this one now from that point you get to this point which is more definite this is what i was telling you about the ones that either this one did did not lose all its petals while this one lost all its petals but they're still here both of them these ones did not lose these ones did not lose their their petals they're still here we have a lot of that happening and this is now kind of more definite 
and if the store the, the stocks holding the fruits fruit sets up are still very green like these ones then now we can start kind of counting our eggs at this point but this is now much later this was like one of the first ones to form fruit and it's definitely now you can count on it it's definitely set we have little fruitlets that are starting to develop so that's the life lifespan or life cycle of a flower from blooming to fruit and then of course we're gonna wait for this to grow and mature before harvest it's unfortunate that some of these that I celebrated earlier are definitely falling off so closing up and starting to give you a fruit is not a guarantee that you're going to have that many fruits some may fall so we have flower abortion and this now is fruit abortion and these are those things that really concern me and we have another one here that give you hope and then lose it along the way but we have some like this that are holding on to dear life and this is what gives me hope now we can start counting at this stage kinda hopefully <laughs> It's a roller coaster. Thank you for watching this far. Hope you found it helpful. I'll see you in the next room.